what's up welcome back to my channel we just gonna get right into it this is a natural makeup beat here i'm going in with some orange concealer just covering up the dark marks that i have less is more sometimes i overdo it and then my makeup look really orange please do not overdo it a little goes a long way get under your eye i definitely could have used less i'm trying to get every dark mark because baby what you're not gonna get there's no dark marks coming through. I want you to see it and then you be like, that skin flawless. Woke up flawless. Bounced up flawless. And then, of course, my favorite thing, what do we say? Blend, blend, blend so you can't blend no more. Blend it on in. Now, it's not going to be completely, well, it should be completely covered. Um, as you can see, like, that darkness under my eye kind of fade away. And those dark marks definitely are like faded a lot more it's not as heavy of course i go in with gots to be on my eyebrows i use the black tube i just put a little on there um and that's just to make sure my eyebrows stay in place the entire day for whatever i might be doing even if i'm sweating they become hard but they're not going to move no matter what you do and then i just line them up do my eyebrows i shape them so I put some setting powder on my brush and then I put my foundation on it. I seen someone do it, so I was like, let me try this. And then we're gonna go ahead and just pat that in. Pat, 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 so you can't pat no more. Pat, 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 so you can't pat no more. You don't wanna brush it across your face. Um, I forgot why I heard why not, but I just always just pat everything into my skin and I don't brush it upon my skin. Um, to me, I just feel like that gives me a really good finish in the end. Um, and try to avoid putting foundation underneath your eye. Um, you don't want any wrinkles. You really just want under your eye to just be, I don't know, just like flat and smooth. Because you know it kind of like wrinkles underneath. And now I'm trying to snatch my nose in. I guess I'm about to tell y'all something, but I didn't want the audio. I'm just going to give a voice over. But I'm really just about to show you how I get my nose super skinny. I don't want it to be visible. I want you to think I had a nose job. Um, so basically, you're just going to go over it. I should have went in even farther and then stopped and not gone all the way down. But nonetheless, you can do it this way. With makeup, you can always change something. It's like paint. You can paint over it to create a new look. So don't think that when you're doing your makeup, it's like, oh, I messed up. Like, it's not going to come out right. It's fine. Like, people think it's a new look. Makeup is artistic expression of beauty. Get into it. Quote me on that. And then I just blend that down. So right now, it's not as skinny as I want. But we're just going to start with our concealer. And if you guys just want the, like, nose. I did make a nose clip for this. But... I didn't really, I was like, nah, I ain't gonna get that to y'all. I'll just get y'all the whole thing. Of course, you know, I use two concealers. If you watch the content, you already know what this step is. I like it bright under my eye. I want it to be dark in the club and you see me from across the room because my eyes are just like, bam. So today, this is a very just simple look. You let your concealer sit for a little bit. You don't want it to be dry to the point where it does not move, but you do want it to be a little bit dry and then I'm gonna go in and contour my face with bronzer because I don't want a dark deep contour that I normally do I really just want something light and natural very simple as you can see before I added the bronzer my face definitely has its natural contour and I'm obsessed with that um, yeah so get your contour line wherever that is for you however you want your cheekbones to stand out but I just go where my natural line is now I'm just going to blend that out. I guess I could have speed some of my video up, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm really just playing around with it. I really want to start adding um, like pop-ups to my videos, but... You just blend that. When it comes to the darkness on your nose, you want to see it, but you don't want to see it. And I don't know how to make that make sense. But if you look at what I'm doing, 
it's blended but it's not completely gone so now my nose just looked like a straight line but you want it to just be pinched at the top and then kind of come in so i'm gonna go in and fix that later on at least i hope i do i don't know what the rest of the video looks like <laughs> um again i'm just blending that in i pat it in my skin again i don't rub it across i really just blend it into the skin they say you shouldn't stretch your face but i do so you kind of do what works for you so now we're going to go back in and kind of improve that you see how i came closer in to really make that bridge of my nose even smaller and you can if you can't see it i would hope you can see it because i can it's making it go in even more like the illusion that it's even smaller and it's giving find a nose you can't find it what i would have done differently is not kind of blend it downward and i would have just let it sit there and then just use my sponge to blend it in but i really want you to think that there's no nose there it's given and so now we're just gonna pet that in and not too much to where it's like it's gone and it's into the skin, but enough to where it's not as dark. We want that to just be light and smooth. So you see how it's fading in? It's not completely like into the skin. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with the nose right now. Oh. Talk about a nose being invisible. And so every time you turn your face, if you want to make sure that it looks small, just turn your face um, like in a mirror and see what that looks like. And then, of course, I go in with a lighter concealer because, again, if you can't see me in the dark down a block, I didn't do it right. And not because it just looks white and it's crazy, but under my eye should definitely like not be dark it should be bright it should stand out and i'm fanning myself because i want it to dry um and not dry completely but again just dry enough i'm not gonna do an eyeshadow i feel like it's simple it's to the point and it still makes a statement without me having to do too much now these don't normally take a long time like i am listening to music when i do my makeup i'm playing around i'm probably on the phone so my makeup might take a long time but in actuality, it doesn't take that long. I'm also setting my face. I used to do set my face all the time when I did my makeup, like in between each step. And I loved it. And then someone said it was very cakey, but I don't believe them. I think they were jealous. <laughs> um, you know, just blend that out. I'm here for it. I want to be so good with my makeup like i want to be able to do crazy designs underneath my eye like stars and butterflies not underneath but on my eye and just be able to do whatever i decide like i see a picture of someone's makeup and just recreate it so i'm kind of doing this for y'all but i'm doing this for me because i feel like the more i do it the better and better i get and with practice, anything can be achieved. So if I'm doing my makeup every day, by next year, how great my makeup would be. Like, I feel like it's great now, but it would be even better. But let's get into it. Do you see the brightness on the face, like in the T-zone area, and then the darkness around it, which is how your skin is kind of set up anyway? But I'm just making sure y'all check it out. You see the skinny of the nose? You Every time you turn, you know you bad when you compose from any angle. That's what it was given. And then I'm just going through and blending across my entire face. Um, I have to say I'm obsessed. I hope I go in and put blush on because the white is definitely whiting, but it's actually the look that I want. I am here for it. It looks like my skin. We're gonna put that baking powder. It's not baking powder, but it's like the setting powder underneath the eye. I don't bake. I'm probably, I don't know if I baked here. Oh yeah, I guess I'm gonna bake. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I baked, I guess I'm gonna bake. Um, You just let that sit a little bit. I normally, if you see the videos, I just brush it off. I never let it sit too long, 
because I'm actually afraid of what baking would look like if you bake too long. And go ahead and get y'all some mascara. In China, like you can get, I got an entire box of mascara for maybe 30 kwai, which is the equivalent of not even $20. And they sent me like 10 mascaras and a lip gloss and some lip gloss. And I think that was the best thing I could have spent my money on. And then I'm just brushing that powder off. I put mascara at the bottom and I was just like, please don't mess up. I'm not mad at like me letting it bake or set. What's the terms y'all? Of me just letting it sit underneath for a while, like I'm okay with how that turned out. So I don't know if I'm gonna continue to bake, but it looks super good. And it doesn't look as bright as it did before I baked. Yes, and my friend said pat your bl brush blush in instead of me like brushing it on my skin. So I actually like that a lot better than brushing it across. It gives you, I like that better than brushing it across. It gives you a better effect. Um, and that's just, just to bring some color back into your face because you saw how my T-zone was super bright. Very simple, very girly, straight to the point, mascara, no liner, just the lip gloss because my lip gloss is popping. Rella Cosmetics, please give me all the lip glosses. I need to reach out to her and get every color she has because I'm obsessed. I hope she ships to the States when I get done or when I get back home. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. Follow me at Layers of Her on all social platforms.